We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. The Okta Research is seeing an increase in COVID-19 cases in the country, projecting around 2,000 cases per day. In a Laging Handa briefing, Okta Research Fellow Dr. Digido David said, Cases in Metro Manila may have already reached their peak, noting the 14% positivity rate on July 15, which decreased on July 16 and 17 to 12%. The vid said if this continues, there is a possibility that COVID-19 cases are already on a downtrend in the national capital region. However, he said COVID-19 cases in the provinces are still rising, particularly in Calabarzon, Central Luzon, and Western Visayas. While saying these figures are not alarming, the vid advises the public to still take the necessary precautions to avoid contracting the disease. We might see at, uh, a few uh, 2,000 cases per day over the next few days. Um, although, dahil uh, Tuesday ngayon, uh, inasaan natin na bababa naman yung bilang ng kaso. Hindi naman sila cause for alarm. Uh, mukhang mataas yung dalong uh, libong kaso kada araw. Pero ikukumpara natin noong January, umabot tayo ng almost 40,000 cases in one day. At last year, noong Delta Surge, umabot tayo ng more than 20,000 cases in a day. So, uh, ito nga po, na ito sa nabanggit ng ating Pangulo na uh, may decoupling, ibig sabihin, uh, kahit na medyo matas yung, kunyari, yung cases or mukhang matas yung risk, ay ang binabantayan natin yung healthcare utilization. At sa ngayon, nananatiling mababa yung healthcare utilization. Group staging protests on the day of President Bongbong Marcos's first State of the Nation address on Monday will only be allowed to occupy the UP Diliman compound and Quezon City Circle. The Philippine National Police said protesters will only be allowed to assemble in Freedom Parks. PNP officer in charge Vicente Danao Jr. ordered all units of the Quezon City Police District to prevent militant groups from approaching Commonwealth Avenue, which has also been declared a no-rally zone. The National Capital Region Police Office, meanwhile, said rallyists must secure a permit before they can hold programs in UP. Meantime, the PNP will hold a dialogue with leaders of militant groups regarding preparations for the sauna. Datu Montawal Town in Maguindanao has been placed under a state of calamity due to massive flooding. The Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council says 11 villages were submerged, affecting some 5,200 families. The floods also destroyed crops, but the extent of damage has yet to be determined. Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Officer Balumol Kadiding said the calamity declaration would allow the town to use its calamity fund to cushion the impact of flooding and to help farmers recover from the losses on crops. In nearby Pagalungan town, all of its 12 barangays were also affected by waist-deep floods. Some people left their homes and moved beside the highway, but many still prefer to stay. Crop damage in Pagalungan was estimated at about 20 million pesos. In Datu Salibo, officials said the flood water started to recede today, leaving thick mud in the flooded areas. Even the town police office was hit by knee-deep floods. Former rebels in Misamis Oriental are getting a fresh start with the help of the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESDA. The details from Vince Bautista of the Philippine Information Agency. The Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, Misamis Oriental Provincial Office, through its regional training center, Tagoloan, gives scholarships to a total of 75 individuals in the three barangays of the town of Asaan, namely Barangay Danao, Ignacio S. Cruz and San Nicolas. Ato ipegayon ang training ng produce organic concoction and extracts para sa mga indigenous people, no? mga former rebels nga mo join sa atong training. Muni ang result sa atong gikondak ng onset assessment sa mga priority identified barangay sa Misamis Oriental. During the 11 day training, the scholars will receive a daily allowance of 160 pesos with personal protective equipment worth 500 pesos and 500 pesos for their uniforms. Being the chairperson of the Poverty Reduction Livelihood and Employment Cluster, 
Tesla hopes that the skills training program that they are giving in the conflict-affected areas and geographically isolated and deprived areas will further encourage the remaining rebel members to return to the folds of the law. For PNA Newsroom, Vince Bautista, Philippine Information Agency, Misamis Oriental. And that's the latest from the PNA Newsroom. Stay tuned for more updates on the biggest stories throughout the day. I am William Theo. Good day, everyone.